Hello, my name is Ernesto Guerra, and I'm going to share with you today five steps to heal whatever you want in your life. You can heal your mind, your feelings, your body, whatever, whatever. These five steps applies to anything, okay? Let's begin. First step, I recognize that my guide is incorrect or not correct. <laughs> Forgive me if I say words uh, incorrectly because my, my language, my main language is Spanish. So, so in advance, forgive me. Um, recognize that my guide is incorrect. That means if I have a disease, if I have, a, if I have a, an illness, if I have a problem in my life, is because I have follow follow my guide, my guide. And my guide is my ego, my conditioned mind. Okay. So the first step is like in alcoholicos, anonymous, alcoholicos, is to go to this place and say, I recognize that I cannot do it by myself. I need help. I, I believe in a higher power that can help me. So instead of following your thoughts that in my, in my experience, my thoughts says, if, if I have, for example, I used to have a, a knee problem in my, in my body. And I say to myself, no, I can do it by myself. I can heal myself. So I start watching in Google and I start reading magazines about how to heal my, my knees. And if you ask me if that worked, the answer is no, it didn't work. Because my guide was incorrect. So when I, I begin to heal, when I, second step, when I became humble. Humbleness is the second step to heal whatever you want. So I get rid of my ego that was telling me, don't ask for, don't ask for help. Don't ask for help. You can do it by yourself. That little voice, that the cause of my suffering the cause of my illness in my body. So when I get rid of my ego and I surrender and I went to the doctor, the doctor has the knowledge, has the experience, has the solution. So humbleness for ask for help. And ask for help, in my experience, is ask for a teacher. In, in the topic of awareness, if I want to, by example, begin to meditate, I used to meditate by myself for some period of my life. I mean, like, I think 15 years of my life, I try to meditate but if you ask me if that work the answer is the same no it didn't work when i surrender because my boy says always you can do it you can do it you can do it and and be autodidactic i don't know if it's correct word when you want to learn by yourself autodidacta so I, I get rid of my belief that I can do it by myself. And I ask for, a, for help to a monk. And this monk teach me how to meditate. So the second step is humbleness to ask for a teacher. Okay, first step, I recognize that my voice, the voices of my head that are telling me you can do it by yourself. 
those voices are not correct. The only voice that is correct is when you, you ask for help. As a matter of fact, the only thing that the ego cannot do is ask for help. So when you surrender, when you ask for help, then you can go to the third step. The third step is very important. The third step is un deseo ferviente. Is a desire to heal that is the most important thing in all your priorities in life. I like to, to tell a story in, in order to explain this step because a story tells more than a thousand words. <laughs> okay. This story is about a lady that goes to a introduc introductory talk about how to meditate. This introduction talk was one hour. And in that introductory talk, this lady worked as a real estate agent. So this lady, this lady was checking her, let's, let's use it, my phone, was checking her, her WhatsApp because she was selling a, a real a house. So she was, hearing like 25 percent in the in the introductory talk about how to meditate and then 75 percent of her attention was in her cellular phone because she wants to sell this house so she was answering blah blah, blah no and when the introductory talk ends she went for with the teacher and the teacher este, says, yes, can I help you? And she says, I have some questions because I want to go to the retreat and I have some questions. Yes, of course, ask me. Well, my first question, and, that, and when she was going to ask the questions, the, the telephone ring. And then she said, oh my God, this is, this is the, the, the phone I was waiting for. Uh, this is the call I was waiting for. Please wait uh, some minutes. I will come back with you. So the lady went to answer the phone and then she came back. And then when she was going to ask the question, suddenly another call uh, happened. So she saw that she, it was uh, about a family uh, matter. So she said, oh, no, no, this is very important. I have to answer this call too. For, sorry, sorry, teacher, I will come. So she answered. And when she came back, she saw a sign, uh, a note. And in that note says, sorry, I have to go, but you can come to my hotel tomorrow at 5 p.m. Please bring your swimming suit. And that's it. And it was a weird note because I, she didn't know why she asked for a swimming suit but anyway she went the the next day to the place in the note it says uh, to the hotel Sheraton and then she finds the monk in the lobby and then the the teacher says I will answer all your questions about the retreat but first you have to come with me to the to the beach because I want to do an exercise with you you bring your swimming suit? Yes, I have my swimming suit, teacher. Okay, come with me. So both persons, the teacher asked her to go inside the ocean. And the ocean was very calm, like a lake. So both persons went to the ocean. And when the water was in this level of their chest, the monk take her from her uh, hair and put her her head in the water like drowning and then the, this lady was like whoa trying to breathe no and then the the monk calculate 
not to drown her, but to, to let her breathe. And then he take it out from the, from the water and he asks, what do you want more in this moment? I want to breathe, teacher, I want to breathe. And then the monk answers, when, you, when your desire to wake up is the same as your desire to, to breathe, I will be glad to teach you. But now you have other priorities. That is the story to, to explain the third step. Okay, you have to be unidirectional. You have to be focused on healing, on wake up, or whatever your goal is. That is the third step, to be focused, okay? The fourth step is consistency. Consistency means the teacher that you choose will teach you a practice, an awakening practice or a, or a practice to heal. For example, the, the doctor that teach me how to heal my, my knees explained me because I was practicing a lot tennis in that time. He explained me that tennis is not good for my knees. So he asked me to get rid of any sport with high impact to my to my knees. So that's the practice to be gentle with my, my knees and start doing sports like swimming, like bicycles. That those are the two the two the, the sports that I do and hiking too, just walk. Those are the three things that I do now instead of basketball and tennis, because basketball and tennis damage my knees. So that's the practice to be gentle with my knees. So the fourth step is to be consistent with that teaching. If you go to a, a meditation retreat, the monk, the meditation teacher will teach you how to meditate. So the fourth step is to do that practice exactly as the teacher says, exactly as the doctor says, because the doctor explained me how to heal my knees. If, if I don't follow the instruction consistently, I won't heal. So the fourth step is to be consistent with my practice, the practice that your teacher will tell you. The, the fifth step is one of the steps that I have not heard in any other este, healing este, teaching. I have uh, read a lot of books about uh, self-help development, awareness, meditation, este, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this topic, I have not heard it before. This is one of my... my, my most valuable secrets of awakening. <laughs> because with this fifth step, if you do it, if you do it, you can have the rest of them. This is the most important, I think. The fifth step is to be gentle with yourself. And by gentleness, I mean to don't don't take out, I'm going to show you my, my little whip. This is my little whip. This is uh, an example that my meditation teacher used. This is very, very little, it's a whip. So instead of taking your big whip and start hitting yourself when you don't practice, when you are not consistent with your practice that your teacher says, instead of that, start being gentle with you is to get rid of this guilt. 
don't waste waste your time in guilt thoughts. That is gentleness for me. When I get distracted because I am I'm a human and I'm in a illusion world. Everything in this world was made to distract me. My main distractor is my cellular phone, social media, by example. So when I get distracted and I do, do not do my practice, my meditation practice or my healing practice for my knees, instead of taking out my, my guilt whip and start hitting myself, instead of that, I decide to don't spend any, any minute in guilt thoughts and start choosing for my practice in that moment when I when I'm aware. The only time when you can choose for your practice is when you are aware. So in that moment, instead of hitting myself with the whip, I change that for, oh my God, I'm aware. I'm aware that I get distracted, but in this, moment in this holy moment i can choose for my practice that is gentleness to don't look back and and start believing in guilt so instead of believing in guilt believe in gentleness in choosing again choose again for your biggest heart desire choose again for your practice to heal your body. Choose again for heal whatever you want to heal. Because these five steps, in my experience, works for everything. In case you want to have more money in your life, you have to have more abundance, economic abundance. This applies perfectly for everything. Because if you want to have more money, first, you have to don't believe in your thoughts because your thoughts take you where you are and you are not happy with your economic situation well you have to second step be humble and ask for a teacher a person that is already in the place that you want to be so you have to to start looking for a teacher that is what you want to be so when you find her, when you find him, your heart start. Let me, let me. When, when you find your teacher, you are very happy because your heart resonates. That's a good key to know when you're, you find your teacher. So when you have your teacher, the next step is to be focused on your healing practice, the, the practice that your, your teacher teaches you. Then you have the fourth uh, step, consistency. I don't have to explain that anymore. And the fifth step is gentleness, to be gentle with yourself when you get distracted. I hope this video helped you. And sorry about my pronunciation. <laughs> this is not very natural for me, but anyway, I do my best. Have a wonderful day. My distractor is calling me. Hola, amor. Aquí abajo. Estaba haciendo un video, pero ya acabé. Perfecto, vámonos, ya voy para arriba. Sí, ya voy para arriba. Bye -bye. This is good that happens. It was my wife, but I explained to her that I was making a video. And I'm glad that this happened because this helped me to teach you this. Everything happened for a good reason. Instead of telling myself, oh my God, this video is not perfect. This, one, uh, this uh, call was not supposed to happen. I, I, I 
I forget to put in airplane mode. And those kind of thoughts, I don't believe in that. I think one, six step for happiness, six step for healing is to believe that there is a divine plan. And the divine plan is to teach me something. When I, my perception changed from, I'm a victim from, oh, I'm a student. I'm an apprentice that came here to learn, to learn from, for everything, from everything, even from my, my call that was not supposed to happen when I was recording a video. So my sixth step in my experience is to believe that there is a, an educational plan, a divine plan that is teaching you, teaching you and teaching me something. So instead of perceiving life as a prison, perceive life as a school. Okay? Now it's time to say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video and subscribe to my channel here below. <laughs> Oh my God. Bye-bye.